Welcome to Invictus Tour, where we will be having a look at the Anvil ships today. Are you excited, Ooh. Joe? I think so. I'm not <laughs> too familiar with Anvil, so we'll see. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I love Anvil ships, they're so cool. Oh, and there she is, the Carrick. Very different display today. Yeah. Cool. This is wait a minute. What's that? The background. Ooh, I like this. I like this. We have a Pisces. Okay. So. This, so yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, this is a little, like, the snub fighter thing that fits inside of the um, the hangar on the, on the Carrick. It's so cool. Like, actually, like, landing See? this thing in the Carrick on the roof, like, in the roof, rather, it's so cool. I love it. And you can kind of see it's got, like, a very, very similar kind of, like, uh, design philosophy to the, to the Carrick itself. It's it's a really cool little ship. I absolutely love it. Yeah, it is. I like the way the wings fold up. Yeah, yeah. That's very cool. It is, and if they didn't fold up, it wouldn't actually fit in the Carrick. I see. Which is so cool. it's made to fit. Yeah, like literally, it it's a very snug fit, but it's absolutely perfect. Has similar color markings as the the C two and 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 the the other one. Can't remember the name. Terrible with names. I'm trying to think. They're all Dar something. The what? Dar something. They're all they're all Star somethings. All oh, right, the um Starlifters, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. It, it is very similar, but different manufacturer. But yeah. Yeah. I absolutely love this little ship. This little ship is so fun. Um, it This is like a very, very light fighter, but its agility and maneuverability is absolutely crazy. Like, it's yeah. really sensitive. It doesn't have much armor. And its weapons aren't that powerful, but she's like a wasp. She just gets behind anything. And give her long enough and she can take down bigger ships. Purely because of how agile yeah. she is and hard to, so hard to hit. Because she is a very small target. She loves it. That massive engine in the back though. Like she's oh, mostly yeah. engine. Yeah, she she's very fast as well. I absolutely love this ship. Um, I think this was my second ship. Um, right. No, it was my third. It was my third ship. Um, absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. I upgraded from the Titan to this one. And absolutely right. loved it. Um, I kind of missed the cargo space. From the um, from the Titan. Yeah. But, but really, really cool ship. Ooh. This is a ship that you don't see a lot of. It is available to purchase in game, but you just don't see a lot of people flying it. This is it's... the this is the Gladiator. Right. Very interesting design with these. Yes. Oh, they're the they're the flaps that close. Do these close with the with the landing gear? Yes. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, she has something ball like with the with the two weapons on top on either side. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely bull horns. Mm-hmm. But uh yeah, she's a force to be reckoned with. A lot of weapons. A lot of heavy weapons. Um eight missiles, I think, in total. Actually no, I'm wrong. Um there is I can't tell if this is all one or if these are... That's 12 missiles. Are all one. 
That's a total of 12 missiles. Huh. On a fight, yep. on a fight. The one thing I'm receiving in. No, no, this is this is a heavier fighter. Um, I don't actually see a great deal of it getting used though. Like I don't see a lot of players using it. Um, I think I might actually pull mine out. I think I have one. Um, I actually might do some. Um, I might actually do some bounties in this thing and see what it's actually like because I, I, it's been so yeah. long since I've actually flown it. The landing gear is so interesting, the way it kind of comes out of the edge of the of the wing. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. Really unusual design. Yeah, I think they were experimenting a lot with this one. Um, yeah, four feet. Yeah. There's many now. That turret in itself just looks like the the. What are the black angry things called in, in Star Wars, which just have a ball and then two massive wings? TIE Fighter. Not... TIE Fighters, thank you. So Sorry. If they, they are very reminiscent. If you actually come to the back of the panel, you'll actually see it's got the exact same sort of texture that the uh, the wings of the TIE Fighter actually have. And if you... When we when we have a look oh. around the ship later, um, the, the corridor that leads to the turret is very reminiscent of Star Wars. More so likes of the um, the Death Star interior and stuff as well, which is really cool. Very. Here we have like the cutest ship out of them all. The Terrapin. It it it. I absolutely love the ship. I take it out every now and again just to fly. It doesn't have any gameplay at the minute, and it's purely just for one person, one bed, one seat. Well, one bed, two seats. Um, the. The, the pilot has both roles, but right. absolutely great ship. Absolutely love the ship. It it's its design is ridiculously done well. I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute for a spaceship. So what is she meant to do? Um, she's, is she data? Kind of. She's a she's a radar jammer. So you would use this to mask um, other ships or yourself. So you can't get spotted by other people, but really, really nice ship. On the back, she looks like she has the um, yeah, the, the 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 TV visual connectors that you that you used to get with all the pins and oh my god, I can't my my words. I don't have my words today. Yeah, yeah, yes, I know what you mean. The the, the um, Scott leads. Yep. Yeah. That, that's it. It almost Words looks like hard. even the um the the um exhausts for the engines look like the old eight pin power connectors. Sorry. Yes. The, yeah, you know what I mean. The like the, yeah, yeah. the eight figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very much like the back of a of a old DVD player or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I've never actually <laughs> looked at it that way, but that was cool. <laughs> that is just menacing. Yeah. The little fog on the floor with the red light. It's almost like the hot seat where you would interrogate someone. That's Vader's seat, yeah. Yeah. What is this one seat for? This is how you would operate the uh, the radar jammer. Ah, uh, I see. And then obviously up there you've got your, your pilot seat. Yeah, I'm not going to try the pilot seat out because no. we've had some issues with sitting and not being able to get back up again. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love the little ship. She's got so much character. I think, I think it's just a beautiful ship. Hi, Becky. Um, hi. Bathroom. Yeah, so you've pretty much got a lot of things in there that you would need for staying in a ship like this for a num like a, a long period of time. Um, she does actually have some pretty good defenses as well, although she is not a combat ship. Um, 
the, the main focus of this ship is to run if you get into combat because although she does have heavy armor she's not a fighter and she doesn't have the agility that a fighting ship would have so basically mm -hmm. if you get in combat you kind of want to run and then mask your position using the jammer and hope that it works that's very cool it really is and then over here very compact almost chubby yes i like that though it's cute <laughs> and then here you have a pterodactyl type ship also known as the hawk i believe yes yeah that face reminds me of do you remember the what was the 2014 Godzilla movie with yep. the thing with the really long spiky legs? Yeah. Looks like it has that that face. Yeah. So what's actually interesting about this ship is obviously you 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 get into it from underneath, but that window there that faces down. You if you look down when you're in the cockpit, you will actually see the ground below. So you do actually right. have like Ooh. an extended field of vision. Um, this ship's primarily for bounty hunting, kind of sneaking up on your target and then hitting them hard. But yeah. once again, you don't have a great deal of um, you don't have a great deal of armor, so you kind of want to hit them as hard as you can while you can, then get away. Kind of put some distance between you before you can make another pass at another attack on them. Hmm, I see. But very, very nice ship. There's there's a lot of red interior lighting with Anvil. Yes. It seems. Yes, there is, yeah. So as you can see, that's a lot of ships in the main hall. Um, yeah. Obviously, the only one we've got left is the actual Carrick itself, which... There is only one floor I can find with this ship, and that's the fact that there's only one entry and exit point, and it's this ramp, which takes forever to open or close. So if other people say this ramp down, and they get to your ship, there's literally nothing you can do to stop them from boarding your ship. Which is... That's it's, kind of... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really annoying. Um, me and my friends used to load these things up with um, a couple of vehicles, and the amount of people yeah. that would sneak on board, it was really ridiculous. Yeah, that's annoying. So obviously this is uh, the vehicle hangar, which I absolutely love because, yeah, transporting vehicles around the verse to go and take them somewhere else is great. So, a little cheeky tip, when you're kind of like landing somewhere instead of putting the ramp down potentially allowing someone on your ship just kind of jump out of the uh the docking collar here and you'll be fine you might okay. you might damage your legs a little bit but at least no one's going to steal your ship Hello? Uh, you won't even have problems when you want to get back inside yeah this is uh elevate that takes you up to uh the, the next floor up um, does mm -hmm. it take you all the way? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So these are the cargo areas, which you can fill with cargo, but they're going to have some of the uses later down the line. I think they've got like a modular pack for this where you can do something else with these. I think you can drop them off so they completely detach oh. from the ship. Okay. Do these open? No. Do these sides open? No. They look like they would. They... From the design, because it looks like it's too... Like, if you look at the, the bottom bit, it looks like it's a ramp that carries on from the design of the floor, so... Yeah. 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 It would be cool if that was the case, but as of yet, it's not. But I, hmm. think, I think they need to kind of expand, because this ship's only been out for something like a year now, I think, in-game. Right. So you come it's in. Not e long. 
Yeah. So if you come into here, this is kind of like a very functional part of the ship because you've got the armory as well as um, places where you can put on mm. other armors and suits and stuff, which is cool. Uh -huh. Very. So how many people can can stay in the ship? Or are supposed to be in the ship at any time? Um, you're supposed to have a crew of roughly around a seven. Wow. That's not... That's, not, that's a lot of people. But there are multiple jobs, it's not just all turrets. Um, so you'll have um, drone operators that can be used for um, exploration or fixing ships, doing like general repairs and whatnot. You've got um, yeah. a medical bed, so someone will need um, the know-how on how to do medical when that comes mm -hmm. when that becomes a thing. Um, obviously you've got a pilot and two co-pilots. Um, there are four turrets. The pilot doesn't actually have any weapons and the ship doesn't carry any missiles because it is an exploration ship. And this is the best exploration ship that there will be in the game, I believe. Really? Yeah. What about the, the, the big one with the um, greenhouses on it? Um, so that's more of a science ship, more than an exploration right. ship. Um, but. Once again, it's modular in design, so it's going to have multiple functions depending on how you how you want it set up. Oh, I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, it's it's really cool. So this here's the habitation deck, which kind of gives you a good feel of how many people fit in the ship. These these tunnels. Uh, walkways are very reminiscent of, of Star Wars to me, yep. I feel. Yeah. Kind of You'll you'll get that vibe for most most parts of the ship. It it's a very mm. cool part. So in here's the medical area and if you come into here obviously you've got a decontamination area. Which obviously will spray. Um Yeah. To make sure that you don't get contaminated or bring contaminants in. So you've got two standard medical beds on either side, and then in here you've got, um, I can't remember what they call they this bed. They look some of the beds I've seen. Oh, it looks like a, um, a, like the, the scanners. Yeah. It has a proper name, I just can't remember the name of it. Um, but this is where you can actually set your spawn on the ship. Right. Um, so obviously if there's someone that needs immediate medical attention, this is the bed that you'd want them to use. In here is kind of where they keep a lot of the um, the supplies, Maybe medical... Maybe gloves? Yep. <laughs> yep. I love that these are all packaging designed so... so well. Like from syringes to ga gauzes. Yep. Everything is like... packaged properly. Like many games that I've seen, they would just put a squiggle on and call it done, like, yeah, and obscure it. But no, this is all labeled. It's great. I love it. I love these kind of small details. So obviously, you can see the oxygen tanks as well behind you. Um, in the other room, mm -hmm. just on the other side of the medical bed, there's actually a place where you would actually have to put them in. I think it takes four of them. Yep, full. Ah, I see. So this is probably where you would manage the scans from. It's a happy face. Yeah. Or something else. Or wing. And somebody's talking about aerodynamics. This is nice. I like the clean look of this. Yeah. But the only problem I have with the ship is it feels a bit cold. It, it's very clinical as well. Um, yes. Obviously through this door is the ladder. Um, but you can't open it on this deck, unfortunately. But you can access it from the the vehicle hangar that we came into to get into the ship, and it also takes you to the top floor. But eventually, we will actually be able to cross up at any point. So that's cool. 
we're going to go into where the crew would generally hang out. Obviously, through Ooh. there, you've got the, the bathroom. I can't wait to play pool. Is... Yes, this will be functionality. Yeah. yeah, this will have function. They are going to be working on the physics to get this in at some point. Obviously, it's not a priority right now. But everybody I know, so cool. everybody I know can't wait to play pool. <laughs> Nice. Oh, crew habitation. Living quarters. Yep. So there's five beds in here. Yep. Ah, so the crew must be only six then. Um, I thought there was more beds. New York postcard. We are all for sale book. Beard balm and a toothbrush. Yep. <laughs> Those small details make these these places feel really lived in. Yeah. This it, guy it, has loads of post-it notes. It's like um, the beds as well, if you notice. They've got a warmer light on them as well to give them more of a cozy feel. So when the shutter's actually shut on the sides to seal the bed up, it would feel a lot more, you know, homey. Whereas you wouldn't have this bluish light, which feels very cold and clinical. Yeah. This is the first time that I've really seen post-it notes in this game. So obviously on this end, you've got the showers. And across where you've got the pool table, you've also got um, the toilets. I love that every bed has a different different things on it. Yeah. Damn, that's cool. I do love this ship. Um, I remember when I first got the game, I became a subscriber for the month, um, June last yeah. year, and this was the subscriber ship for that month. So I went from Ooh. flying, I went from flying my Aurora to flying this, and I just went, wow. "How much is this ship?" And then when I realized how much this ship was, I was just like, "Yeah, I can't have this ship. This this is a bit outside yeah. my budget, but." How much is this ship? Um, on the website, I think it's roughly around the six hundred pound mark. Oof. But she has a lot of features, and she is a lot of ship. Yeah. But you she is a lot of ship. You can get it in game <laughs> for twenty eight million. Okay. So it it's totally doable. I I have one that I purchase in game. But I absolutely yeah. love it. I I love this mess hall. Because, to me, I would use this as kind of like a meeting room with my friends to kind of say what we're going to be doing. Like, let's say we're on a, like, a long expedition. Like, I could stand here and be like, yes, okay, so we're going to do this, and what what do you guys think, and how do you think we should approach this, and should we venture further looking for more things, or should we study the area that we're currently in and find out more about it? Yeah, it's going to be cool. The other thing I really like about the ship is you get different windows to look to the exterior. So you can actually see around you, no matter, well, pretty much no matter whereabouts in the ship you are. That is nice. She also has mustard, ketchup, salt, pepper, sriracha, soy sauce. All the condiments you want. Yeah. <laughs> All these small details, I could I could just get lost in them. 
yeah, I do love the ship. Um, so, just a bit further down the hall, you have the captain's quarters, which is also his office as well. Hmm. Seems like, like that's a running theme, having the office and. I like the fact that they propped the desk up one. on sort of like a little bit of a platform to kind of show dominance. Mm -hmm. It is a rather low table, though. It is, yeah, and the table is actually quite far away from the chair because the chair doesn't actually move in yet, which is a bit of a shame. Wait, 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 wait. He smokes. Mm, pretty much everything. Yeah, that's an e-cigarette. Yeah. In a lot of ships, you'll find cigars, you'll find e-cigarettes, vaping stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of different things. Obviously, through here is his, uh, is his personal quarters. With his little teddy bear, because every captain needs a teddy bear. Of course they do. I have my llama corn. You... And obviously he's got his own ensuite bathroom. I like how they put an emergency rescue kit in here in case he slips and falls. Yep. It'll be cool once we actually are able to like set spawns in our ship to where when we log out this is the place where we wake up and the spaceship will be exactly where it was when we left it. That's gonna be so cool. Yeah. Imagine if we could set it up cruise control and just cruise for the for the next how many hours we're off the game. You technically could. Um, there's nothing stopping you from setting cruise control and leaving the seat. But obviously you just have to make sure that where you're heading there's, there's nothing Oops. in your way. Yeah, otherwise you'll just plow straight into it and you won't know until it's too yeah. late. So we'll go and have a look at the technical deck, which by far I think is probably the best deck on the ship because it's the most yeah. interesting. So directly in front of you, you can see you've got the open hangar and that's where the Ooh. Pisces would fit. And when you close it, obviously um, the door shuts, sealing the Pisces in so it's protected. That's cool. Is the Pisces the only ship that fits? No, there's a bunch of other ships that fits, but the Pisces is the one that's made for this. But yeah. anything like the, the 85X, the M50 from Origin, the... I can't remember if an Aurora fits. But anything of the small categories would, would fit in this. Likes of the Archimedes and the Emerald, they they both fit. Um, the Argo Mole, they fit. No, not the Argo Mole. The, um, the Argo MPUV. I don't think the Aurora would fit. Uh, the Titan would fit. No, no, the Titan wouldn't fit. It's I too, don't. it's too wide. Yeah. Plus, with its landing gear, because its landing gear is really tall, um, it also wouldn't fit. Mm. Imagine playing like some kind of ball game. Under the stars, whilst you're out in the galaxy. It would be cool. You'd have to be a metal lead ball that has gravity or, or what? Not gravity. Um, Magnetic. Magnets here. Yeah. That'd be fun. Um, gravity would work. Um, because the ship does actually have artificial gravity, so anything that has mass would work as just as well. Yeah, but I feel like if you get, like, even just three feet off the ground, the ball might just end up floating into space. Maybe. So this is definitely the Star Wars part. Absolutely. God, that looks menacing. They do like their red colour, don't they? They really do, yeah. Like, if you come down, it gets a lot more intense. Mm. 
Wah, just that view alone. I absolutely love these turrets. I think they're the best designed turrets, but once again, I am a massive Star Wars fan. So I'm kind mm -hmm. of a bit biased on that one. But they do have great viewing angles. And, yeah. I, I think they're a great, great uh, addition to the ship. Mm. Oops, sorry, I did it every way. So menacing. In this room, this is where you get to see the real magic. Because right above you, in this bowl, the thing that's spinning around is what creates the gravity on the ship. Oh. So if anything is was this based. What? Sorry, uh, is this based on on real science or real science ideas, theories? I have no or is idea. Just... I've never looked into it. However. A lot of the larger ships have these, and obviously it ranges mm -hmm. on size depending on how big the ship is. That's so cool. So this is where an engineer would pretty much monitor the main systems of the ship, like of the engines, the coolant, the power, all the yeah. kind of good stuff. But yeah, if the gravity generator was to fail, you'd have to fly around the ship. But I do think the engineering room, the engine room rather, is just absolutely Ooh. phenomenal. Like, these engines are huge. They are, and they look so menacing, especially with the, with the kind of... Um, the steam? Vapor steam, yeah, coming off it. So cool. Yeah, I think it's really well done. Obviously, you've got your access panels to pretty much all the components, although this one doesn't seem to be working, which it used to. I did have the little button for it there. Oh. There we go. I didn't mean I didn't mean to I didn't mean to Ah I'm back up. <laughs> ah, I that, see. That's the quantum drive. That's what gets us from planet to planet. It's like a sad face. Yes. I love the size of the power plant. Can't even put it into words, really. I always kind of it's... think of the power plant as something else, but now that I think about it, it's just like a giant car battery, really, isn't it? Yes, I guess, yeah, I was thinking generator, but then generator kind of... Yeah, I think battery. I think battery fits better. Yeah, because obviously the ship runs on fuel, which, yeah. if anything, like an aeroplane's anything to go by, the 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 engines are generators that generate electricity to run all the subsystems. So I'm wondering if this is like a, a battery, which likes of the energy weapons and stuff would actually use this as a main power source because obviously they couldn't run off just the generated power from the engines. I don't know. Um, they are looking at the power management, so that is coming. They really are going to make this game difficult, aren't they? Yes. But what in life is kind of easy going? True. And then considering what this, you know, all the things that you have to consider. Yeah. 
Especially since you'll be stuck in space if anything goes wrong. Yeah. So these are basically just your coolers. Um, and you've also got your fuel tanks in here as well, which you can't actually access right now. But... And the other room mm. on the opposite side is exactly the same. I thought it was already down here. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> you left me behind. You got off. I got off because I thought I was going to get stuck. Nope. Hi. Hi. So this panel here is how you'd close the, the main hangar. Um, but obviously the pilot can do it from his seat, but... I just like the fact that you could ask like a member of the, the, the crew or something to come here and just close the door. Mm. And there she goes. Oh, I see. I think it's Okay, great. that's really cool. It is. That's awesome. That's so cool. So obviously this is as far as this little elevator that was at the front of the ship goes. Mm -hmm. And here's the drone room. Where you'd have two drone operators managing to fly the drones. Depending on what kind of drones you install depends on their, their function. But as far as I'm aware right. there's only two types which are kind of like scouts and repairs. Actually, there might be three types. I think there's a combat type as well, but I'm not 100% certain about that one, but I do know there is one for repair, and there is one for exploration, so you can use it to go off and scout areas or scan things without having to leave the ship. So you might be, like, in a hostile environment, so it would have good function. Cool. But yeah. This is really cool. Kind of looks like you set up now. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so in here is like the where the technician would come and repair random bits and bobs of the ship or bits that's broken oh, off. Can I just say that your character in this light looks really menacing? Especially when you stand underneath just red light and all I see is the yellow black green horns and eyes. So we'll go and have a look at the uh, the bridge. So obviously you've got your escape pods that lead to the bridge because obviously everybody that's in the bridge needs to get off. And there is about five or six people that would hang out here. So obviously you've got your turret operators on the left and right. You'd have someone kind of manning or at least keeping check of the various different things that you'd be scanning. You can control the ship from here. So you can actually pilot it from this area. 
With you. And I love the fact they used the year 10 Warthog flight sticks. Which I actually have. That is a detail that I would never have known. I have just got one <laughs> sitting on the top of my, uh, on top of my setup. Not in use, but it's kind of cool that they have those, those joysticks set up. So this is the main area for, for the pilot? Uh, this, is, this isn't the main area for the pilot. Um, this is just the, the top bridge. You can pilot from up here, but if you come and take this elevator... Yes, this ship has three elevators. You can go down to the lower bridge. And this is where you would normally pilot the ship from. So when in flight, you've got three... You've got pretty much the entire crew here, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. You'd have the, the entire crew out of the main... Oh, this feels weird. Oh, this feels so wrong. <laughs> oh, this feels so wrong. But obviously, if you enter the seats, the seats, as you can see, are on rails, and they too come out over the glass. So you've literally got a 360 degree of open view. The only thing that obstructs you is these struts that come out. But they're not really that obtrusive. Mm. But, yeah. I, I, I do love this ship for its open, open canopy. It's very, very cool. Obviously, there are a couple of hidden features. You've got um, little bits of storage. What? Nice. So, with these servers, yeah, could you run data or not? Um, so the data that you'd be running would be what you've scanned and what you've found on your explorations. So if you've right, found okay, a so new planet, layer. you could um, basically store the information about that planet. What kind of planet is it? What kind of minerals did you find there? Was there any kind of um, harvestables? So any life? Yeah, yeah, all that kind of information. That's what these servers would store. I see. And I think it's great that they're in the main cockpit area. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a big storage. Yep. So we'll, we'll go back up this elevator because there's only one more place on the ship left for us to go to. Sweet. Which is the very top floor. Obviously, as you can see, there's ventilation running all the way through the ship, above mm -hmm. the doors. Which obviously keeps the whole ship pressurized. And air conditioned. Yep. I assume. It, Another it, elevator. I think it would have to be. Like, one of the best things about the C2 is the fact that the engines actually run through the center of the ship. So that would, in itself, produce, um, produce some heat. Mm. So here we have the cartography Ooh. deck. So, obviously when you're in a new system, obviously you would scan it, you'd come to the cartography deck, and this is where you would kind of plan out, okay, what planet are we going to look for? What are we going to scan? What do we hope to find? Is there anything hidden? That's actually not showing up on the scan data. Obviously, you could use this also as a meeting point. This is very pretty. It is. It is. It's a. It's a very cool room. So what you are actually in right now is where you'd be suiting up to leave the ship from the external. 
Is it escape pods here? <laughs> Did you open it and I closed it? And this is where you'd come to EVA. Ooh. Oh, so of course this is the this is the roof that we've closed. Yep. Yep. Ooh. Hi. A nice view of the whole hole from up here. I was just thinking that, you know. Get a nice view of all of the ships. I hope nobody else is downstairs and about to open up this roof. That would be funny. Yep. Especially if you stand in the middle of it and they don't expect you to fall down through the gaps. I wouldn't recommend jumping off this one. Mm. I don't think I'd like to try. No, I don't think I will. I wasn't sure still for a second there. Looked like you were contemplating it. I was. <laughs> then I thought, no, I best not. Mm. Or maybe... The long trip on the train. Maybe I kind of have to, because now I'm at a place where I can't really do anything else. I think I've done Did you this... get stuck? I kind of fell off the side, but I kind of managed to stay on the ship a little bit. Well, take your chances. I'll see you on the other side. I know where I am. I'm going to try and take... I will take the civilized route down. Looks like you're still alive. I am, yep. I did have to use a med pen, but I'm fine. <laughs> well, I'm in the elevator and I will see you in a second. Okay. Do we have any um, separate rooms? Um, we, ha explore? we have one zenith hall open. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have one Zenith Hall. I'm slowly getting a hang of these doors. But the ship has many. Hey. I made it. These are my favorite weapons over here, actually. I've just noticed them at the corner of my eye. The CF range of weapons are my absolute favorite. I absolutely love them. I will put them on every single thing I can. If I can. So are these the energy rifles? Yeah. E energy weapons? Yeah. It's three guns in one. So if you notice, there's actually three barrels. And each one has its own recoil. Yeah. And basically the reason why they've done that is to allow each barrel to actually cool down in between each cycle. So you have rapid fire, oh. but you don't really have rapid fire. But it's, it's kind of a cool way on how they've done it. It's very much like the Gatling gun, how the barrel spins to keep the barrels cool so they don't overheat and jam. It's, kind, it's kind of the same principle, but with an energy weapon. I think it's a really, really cool attention to detail and actually based on real physics as well. Yeah. 
Man, this game is so underrated. It is. But it's getting there. More and more people are finding out about how awesome this game is. and <sighs> New people are yeah. coming all the time. And it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking just earlier to, to a friend of mine and told him that I played this game and he was like, oh, isn't this a game that's never going to come out? And I'm like, breathe through and just explain. Yeah. So I did. And he was like, oh, well, that sounds cool. Like, so. the thing is, though, like, I, I've put a fair bit of money into this game, which you know. Um, mm -hmm. And to me, Ooh. okay, there's a ship in this room I have not seen yet. Which one? I'll leave it to last. Um, but no, as I was saying, I put a lot of money into this game. But when you break down how much the average game costs of today, and you could be looking between 40 to 60 pounds, and some of those mm -hmm. games will give you roughly between 8 and 10 hours of gameplay. When you condense yeah. this game down, I've already spent probably about 1,300 hours into this game. And I've spent wow. less than 1300 Now, if you were to take the game that you've spent, say, 60, 40 to £60 pounds on, and you divide that by 8 to 10 hours, you know, you, you, you're paying yeah. a fair bit. Like, you're paying over £5 an hour for the entertainment factor. It, yeah. Whereas this game, about... I've paid less than 50 pence an hour of entertainment. Fair. So, if you look at it that way. And that's that's kind of how I base this. I mean, I don't, I don't play many games, and when I do play games, I kind of give them my all, because I really want to see where this game can go, because it's just... <sighs> it's got a lot of places where it can go, and I'm just excited for the whole vision of it. Yeah. That's true. And you need to play this game to see that vision, too. Yeah, yeah, you you really can't see it from the outside, and like you kind of need to stop taking the opinion of other people's who have negative thoughts because they might have experienced the game where it was a few years ago, which wasn't in a good place. But you can't justify that opinion of today. No, especially since it's you know it, it is playable. Yeah, so I don't think this ship you can access. No, you can't. Oh, I don't think this one's in game yet. It's quite cool looking. Quite unique design for the wings. It is, yeah. Um, so it's it's very much on the Hornet series. Um, which you'll see right behind you is also another Hornet series. But obviously this one's more of the modern take on it. I might get that actually. Is that uh, I'll see how the F seven is when it comes out. It might actually be my combat ship. You can choice. enter this one. Yeah, this one you can. Yeah, this is just a standard Hornet. Oh right, okay. Never mind. It I... is a rather cool looking ship. I actually prefer this one. I prefer this one a lot actually. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might get the F7 when it comes out. I like the nose and I like the engines, the engine intakes. They're so much nicer than the other one. Mm. And of course behind us we have the Valkyrie. It's always, it's always the wings for me. It's kind of the main... The main point, I think, that I enjoy most about the ships. Yeah. She's thick. She is. I love it though. I absolutely love it. It's like the perfect dropship. There is no doubt that this is not the perfect dropship. Like you've got a giant vehicle bay or cargo area depending on what you want to do. You've got side doors with with like miniguns that you can use. To defend the ship from incoming attackers. So you could have this thing like landed and some people could be like trying to flank you from the side and you could just rip them to shreds with a minigun while your guys are like loading out the back. 
Nope. Okay, this door does not like me. It does, I just opened it. Well, I pressed open, but obviously you did at the same time, so I closed it. So in here, you can fit a total of, I think it's ten people? Yes, ten. And obviously you've got another one on the other side as well, where you can fit another ten. So that's a total of twelve, sorry, twenty troops. I don't know where I got twelve from. Um, <laughs> but obviously here you've got a, a, a belly turret as well. Mm. Cool that the that the the guys are protected by at least the door. So if you open up the back and start taking heavy fire, yeah, your whole entire crew doesn't just in, immediately get killed. Yeah. Obviously up here you've got um, five beds. Six. Oh no, five. Five. All right. Tiny oh, little... this haziness. Does... Oh, there is a shower. Okay. I was going to say, I'm not, I wasn't sure if there was a shower there or not. Again, the sheer vision. So the reason why there's five oh, beds oh, is because it's for the crew of the actual ship, not the... Um... Not the troops you'd be dropping off because obviously you'd have a pilot. You've got these two gunning stations here. Then you've got the one here for the roof. And then you've got one on the belly. Yeah. Which I think is cool because obviously these, these people would need to be kept separate from the rest of the ship. Which is why they've been given exactly. this top floor. Yeah. But obviously if they need to defend, they've got the this area here where they can actually shoot over the balcony. But I think the name is very fitting for this ship, calling it the Valkyrie. Hmm. I like that. I think I'm too civilized before you. I actually take the stairs and staircases. <laughs> Whereas you just hop the fence. No, I didn't hop the fence. You did. You didn't take the ladder. I did. I did not see you take the ladder. I saw you against the railing and then I saw you outside. So this is the ship <laughs> that you really don't want to mess with. This is probably the heaviest... This is probably the heaviest hitting ship in the game so far. For a fighter. Yeah? They call her the Hurricane. Okay. And it's not so much the pilot weapons, it's the turret that's on the back. It rips things to shreds. Cool. It's a really, really good ship, so always pays to have a friend in one, of, in one of these because that turret is pretty much what defines the ship as being combat worthy. Not gonna enter the, the, the turret seat just in case. No. Now this is the ship that I've not seen before. And you're probably thinking, but it's on display all the time at every like on every day. It is, but this is the civilian version. Oh, is this the same as the um The red one, yeah. By the looks of things everybody's excited about this. Oh my god. This is, they've never actually done this before. You've never been able to sit inside the cockpit. Yes, I am sitting on the seat and I know that might cause me to crash, but. Wow. It's be fine. What a view.
Um, I'm going to try and see if I can take a screenshot of this because this is just too good. <laughs> I like the fact it's very digital. Um, so the, the flight stick itself looks pretty generic. It is a HOTAS type system. There are four MFDs. But the actual viewing angles from in here is really nice. And I am actually what allowed a... out. Sweet. You're more what than welcome. What are MFDs? Uh, multiple function displays. So basically it's just the screens that you have on the on the cockpit dashboard. Um, obviously you can change different functions to them to display different Do information. I... Do I dare? I right. sat down early and I was allowed to go back in. Yeah. Like, get back up, so. If I can find where I get to. It should be right in front of you. Ah, there we go. Ooh. Yes, I count six, seven. Eight. Okay, so it does still carry eight weapons. That's... <sighs> I really want one. <laughs> I, I absolutely love the ship. Everything about it. Ever since I seen it, I was just like, how do I get my hands on one of these? And I don't like how you get your hands on one of these. Because you don't buy it. You can't buy it. You have to pledge a certain amount before you can unlock this version, which I think comes at when you've pledged 10,000. And then you get the military one unlocked at 15,000, which is a pretty steep pledge. But at the same time, you know, these are ships that have... They've got to make something rare and something unique for all certain players. And I think if you're willing to pledge that much, then yeah. You know you should be allowed something that's pretty close to being the best. Are you able to leave? Bye. Are you holding Y? There we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> So I think that just leaves one more place to go and have a look. Yeah. The you bed. can't even rent it. You can't even try it nope. out. No, you can't. You can't. People have been waiting for a long time for those ships, so it's understandable that we can't just rent them for free. Um, I think the concierge type players and stuff will, will want access to them before the random, random people can pledge for Double. them. Yeah. So there are three ships that you can get. You can get um, the military one, a civilian one, and I can't remember what the other one is. But if you complete Squadron 42, then you also get access to one of these. Right. But I'm not sure about what the what the loadout is on it, because obviously Squadron 42 is not out yet. Um, so I'm not 100% certain on what, what the specifications are and, and what kind of weaponry and stuff it has. Because obviously the civilian version... And the military one, they both have the same amount of weapons, but it's the components that make them different. Because obviously yeah. the military one would have the military components, whereas the civilian will have the civilian and probably industrial components, but... Right. I don't know about the other one. There's there's no information on it. It doesn't even exist yet. It, it, it's only been hmm. mentioned in name only, so... Really busy today. It is busy today. Everyone's running around like headless chickens. Well, I don't think real players take with actually just generally walking places. So you can always tell. Yeah. If they're walking, they're probably an NPC. Not always. Um... Oh, yeah, we've got the ballista down here. Mm -hmm. I have one of those on my C2. Yes, you do. I used one for an event once. 
I had a lot of people hunting me down while I was running away in that thing. The event lasted, I think, two and a half hours. It was way longer than we thought. Wow. Yeah. We did it on the, um, on the icy lakes. Wait a minute. Um, what, what, what's going on? No concepts. I've never known this. No concepts at all. Right, so you know how Drake's Day has the different logo from the rest? I found out yeah. why. It is because Drake now trade with pirates and sell to pirates. So they've been kicked yeah. out of actually having an event at the expo. So what they do is they, um, at the starport, they kind of put on their own exp expedition of their ships. So you actually That's have to... awesome! Yeah, so it's kind of like a rebellion. They kind of want to do it themselves. So what they do is actually do it at the starport, which would be cool. But Let's I'm see. I'm hoping that the that the rumors on Reddit are true and that we get to see a concept of the Kraken, not to walk mm -hmm. around, but just to see it in person, as in scale wise. I think that would absolutely be insane. Oh, that would be. I mean, even if it was just like a flyby, like how the fleet are doing right now, that would be cool. Yeah. Release the Kraken. Yes, release the Kraken indeed. I am a little mm -hmm. bit bummed out that the fact that there's no more concept though. Yeah. Maybe we'll check back tomorrow and just make sure. Yeah. Just in case. There's some pretty pictures there. Yes, yeah, so this one's the hawk from the oh. side. That's really, really pretty. I like that guy's pants. Where did you get them from? You can steal his pants. I could if I wanted. I'm not going to steal I his don't... haircut though. <laughs> I think he slept with the bleach in his hair. What's funny is his hairstyle is actually reflecting into the ceiling above. <laughs> it's so bright. Uh, you are a beacon of light in these dark times. And you've got light up shoes! Oh my god, he does. I've I not seen them I... in years. I had them as a kid. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, I had too. I love mine. He is a man of culture. He's a man of light. He is. So yeah, I think that's that's a a spot where I think we can end the stream. Yeah. Yeah. So is 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 Drake tomorrow? Um, Drake won't be tomorrow because it's it's still gonna be Anvil. But um, oh I, right, yeah, day after. I do think it it might be the day after. Yeah, I think I'll have to check the schedule. Hmm. But yeah. Awesome. Right, so... Well, I look forward to the Kraken. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you all for coming to uh, the stream of uh, Invictus Anvil Day. Um, stay tuned, because obviously in two more days I will be streaming the next one. Um, I think it's Drake, but if it's not, then I will cor obviously correct that at the start of the next stream. But uh, thank you all for watching. If you do like this content, please uh, click follow. That way you can get notified of when I go live next. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye for now.